If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. It is Iron Bowl week, uh, Auburn hosting Alabama at Jordan-Hare on Saturday afternoon. And Auburn graduate Michael Giddens, who works with us here at the TV station, joins us for a few minutes. And, Michael, you don't have on your Auburn attire this morning. That's a good thing, man. No, I, I stared at my uh, signed Cam Newton jersey in the closet for a few seconds. Thought about bringing some Auburn shakers. Did you actually... Were you one of those crazies that run out on the field at the end of a game? Yeah, I like to tell people that even before Chris Davis got to the end zone, I was on the field with him. I was walking? motioning people. I, I thought about <laughs> looking for one of those Alabama linemen, maybe the kicker, Adam Griffith, somebody yeah. to hit. But uh, no, that was a that was a crazy moment right before that. Two weeks before that, we had the the prayer in Jordan mm-hmm. here, and I was a student during that time, and it was just a, a crazy moment. It's too bad we couldn't follow it up with the what national is it, championship. What is it like? being a fan just say for the iron bowl at jordan hare man i mean it's the whole game day experience is incredible you really have to get up at 6 a.m or something <laughs> just to start the day because most of the time that's the cbs game uh, it has been almost every year except for i think 2014 it was the night game so the game starts about 2 30 but you got to start getting to the stadium about 10 a.m to get in line especially if you're a student coming in trying to find that seat it's a it's a madhouse rush to get whatever seat you can find I remember in the 2013 Iron Bowl in particular there's people sitting all down the aisles in the in the the steps so it's just it's crazy but man it's an atmosphere and experience that that it, there's nothing that compares in yeah. sports well you got the Iron Bowl coming up Saturday a CBS game kick at 235 or so at Jordan Hare and I guess you got to begin with Auburn's defense has been talked about all year and they've proven it game in game out Yes, uh, their defensive line, it, it's sad that these two seniors, Derek Brown and Marlon Davidson, along with the, the, the rest of the unit, uh, a lot of them are going to be leaving, either going to the NFL early or graduating. Um, a couple of those guys could have went out last year, chose to come back. Yeah, Derek Brown, he was a projected top 20 pick last year. I would think his draft stock has only gone up this year. He should be a top 10 pick. He'll probably be the highest pick person on the field, except for maybe Jerry Judy for Alabama. So you look at Auburn's defensive front, and they've just wreaked havoc on everybody they played. Uh, I mean, I think Auburn's forced more fumbles than anybody else in the country this year. Um, I think it's about 16. So they've just – they get in the backfield, they disrupt your 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 game plan offensively, uh, and it's just really hard to stop a, a team. that And they're so confident, too. They, they realize we're, we're the best defensive line in the SEC. We want to prove it uh, this Saturday in the Iron Bowl. Well, three losses for Auburn coming in, Florida, Georgia, and LSU, and that's no chump cheese teams right there. Now, two of those losses did come on the road, though, for Auburn. Uh, but you have the, the loss in Jordan-Hare uh, two weeks ago. They, they rebound against Samford, hopefully. Uh, they can use that momentum going forward. But I, I will say this. Um, this is a, a testing moment for Gus Malzahn because not only is it bad to lose to your rivals constantly, but – uh, he's basically facing Alabama's B team going into this game. You look at all the injuries that Alabama has sustained throughout this season. If he does not pull out this victory, it, it could spell doom for him at Auburn going forward. Well, you look at Alabama's offense, and boy, they've got firepower at every wideout position. Several of those guys are going to go pro after this year. Yeah, the between Alabama and LSU, it's it's really close at who's got the best receiving core in the SEC this year, and maybe the country. But you look at Jerry Judy, Henry Ruggs, Jalen Waddle. I mean, it's just an incredible, incredible unit. Can Mac Jones handle the pressure at Auburn? I mean, with that front seven, Auburn's going to be barren. You know, I mean, Kevin Steele, defense coordinator for Auburn, his game plan is going to be let's get in Mac Jones' face as much as possible. Let's test him because you look at what Mac Jones, he started two games this year, Arkansas and Western Carolina at home. Now, that's not great competition, but – this is a different story going to Jordan Hare to play Auburn. I think it's early and often you're going to see a lot of blitzing from Auburn. Ladies and gentlemen, take a good look at this face. We do not want to see him on the field on Saturday afternoon. Michael, have a, have a good weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, too.